exceptions. These rules do not apply to the following. So we always have that small business taxpayers defined earlier under inventories where we might have an exception. So inventories, once again, an area that could cause us problems, forcing us to deviate from a cash basis to an accrual basis. However, there could be some exceptions, therefore, uh, especially for small businesses. When you're dealing with inventory, you want to think pretty well in depth about how exactly is my business going to work logistically and what is going to be the tax basis that would be best for me and not only in the current year but also kind of thinking forward in terms of is this going to lead me to have to change my accounting method in the future which is kind of a pain and we have to ask permission for typically or follow certain rules to do so and we'd like to make it as easy as possible being consistent if we can property uh, you produce in your indirect cost of producing the property are two hundred thousand dollars or less so uh, special methods there are special methods of accounting for certain items of income or expense these include the following amortization discussed in chapter seven so we'll get into like depreciation and types of assets later and then of course amortization are going to follow their own kind of rules which are basically separate from what you might expect you might expect the tax code to say hey we'll just default to accounting principles generally accepted accounting principles and they kind of do that but then they deviate from that for other reasons which are probably lobbying type reasons and so on where they're trying to accelerate the depreciation methods therefore the depreciation rules that we go to for taxes may differ than normal best practices for accounting and that's another area where things get a bit messy so bad debts discussed under topic number four uh five three bad debt deduction we might talk about that later depletion discussed in chapter seven of publication two two five 